my name is CB Gamer Dude, and in this video, I'm going to be demonstrating to you how to key out chroma key green screen in HitFilm 3 Pro. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is, of course, start a project. So simply just click whatever I did and click Start Editing. Once you get into your software, you're going to want to import your green screen plus the image you're going to put in the background. So, for example, I'm going to use um, a clip from my frozen lip cover. After your clip is imported, find something you're going to want to use for the background. This could be a picture or a video. I will do both to demonstrate. Simply for background, I'm going to use a picture of Elsa. And for a video, I'm going to use the Amazing Hippie Game Review Part 5. Alright, now let's get into the cutting out of the green screen. So what you're going to want to do is add in your clip to the timeline. After your clip is in the timeline, you go to Make Composite Shot, click OK. And now that you're in the composite shot, take yourself over to the effects. Okay, after you earn the effects, go to Keen, and then click Chroma Key Layer Only, and drag that onto your stock video. So we double click Chroma Key, and you could either match this, I personally will use the dropper, because it's easier, and yes, I can see there's many a noise, but the magical thing about this is that you can simply move up your gain, and make sure it's pure black, and you're also going to want to move down your balance. Now let's go ahead and move to the see this is perfect blackness so it's completely keyed up but we are going to move to the part where you can actually see me as you can see you can always adjust it you can also duplicate the clip once or twice and after you duplicate the clip it should make yourself a little more solid so we go back to the effects, and simply move the balance. And as you can see, anything you put in that black will be perfectly keyed out. And it'll just be you. To demonstrate this, I'm going to add in a clip of Elsa from Frozen. Just simply move it behind both of those. And you stretch it out until it's in shut. And there you have it. You have yourself keyed out and kind of green screen. Keeping in mind, you can also do this with video. One more question. Um, you know, you had five um, clones in the original place, and you killed three. And I lighting is crucial when it comes to keying out green screen. You're going to want to make your light as natural as possible, and you want to make your light fit in with the environment that you're going to be putting in the background. Say you have a desert. Um, background. You're going to make the want to make the lighting a little hot, but just make it look like you're actually in the desert, otherwise it'll look all weird. You'll look completely different than the background you're actually in. So lighting is crucial when it comes to keying out green screen. Sure, my green screen is keyed out and it looks fairly nice, but that is all thanks to the lighting I had. Thanks for watching this green screen video. I hope it helped you and hope it taught you how to key out green screen for yourself. I hope I helped you. If so, leave a like, subscribe, comment. I'm not going to be blabbing too much. I just want to give a shout out to the Amazing Hippie Gamer Dude series, and I also want to give a shout out to the Laptop series with Green Fire Films. So I'll leave links to both those playlists in the description, plus a link to Green Fire Films. So yes, thank you for watching, and remember to like and subscribe. Peace out, hippies.